all for coming out here at the autumn get together. 20 years we've been here. Let me get out my uh, format here. And this is uh, a, a nice ceremony that we've done for about the last five years, three years. And uh, this band over here standing to my right is Doug Cabral with the P-Town Push Rod. And Doug is instrumental. He's a Vietnam War veteran, and he's been really the spark plug behind this Veterans Day ceremony. He does a lot of work with veterans in the Tri-Valley area, and we've got a bunch of veterans here with us today. And, uh, you know, good guys in the P-Town Push Rods are absolutely thrilled to uh, honor the uh, men and service women. Uh, the United States military, both past and present. So uh, let's yeah, give Doug a big round of applause for all you guys. Look at that. Everyone's screaming to Doug. You bet. A very dedicated American is Doug Cabral. And um, we also would like to welcome our veterans from the Livermore Visit uh, Living Center. Uh, they're right here. Hi, guys. How are you? You're looking great. You actually look like you're aging in reverse. You guys uh, look younger than last year. But it was cloudier than last year, so you look better in the sunshine. You guys all doing all right? It's good to see you here. You look great. And we also have with us is a World War II veteran who was in the landing at Normandy. Oh That's D-Day. Would you please welcome our good friend Elmer Ellsbury. Elmer, stand up for us. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, the part of the greatest generation. You saw the Tom Brokaw program, the greatest generation. And he's talking about gentlemen like Elder Ellsbury, who were on that beach in Normandy that helped defeat the Germans. So an absolute honor to have you here with us this afternoon. We'd also like to welcome our color guard, the East Bay Cadets, Squadron 18, Civil Air Patrol from Hayward. Big round of applause for those guys. And we have Dave Raymond with us, who represents the Blue Angels and the Blue Angels show car. Dave, where are you at? There's Dave, all right, with the Blue Angels. And I would like to welcome our color guard from the United States Air Force Auxiliary Civil Air Patrol Squadron 18, and it's their cadet program. And I'm going to read you their names, and they'll be up here with us in just a second. We have with us Master Sergeant Luke beck -Fidel. We have... Cadet Master Sergeant Sarah Turner. We have Cadet Staff Sergeant Anna Ronkel and Cadet Airman First Class Ashley Miles to post the colors and they'll be up here in just a second. And we have our Color Guard Advisor, First Lieutenant Tammy Sturgill with us here. We also have our good friend George Schober, a Vietnam veteran from San Leandro. How you doing, George? George has been showing his 1965 Pontiac since he watched it come off the assembly line floor at the General Motors plant in Fremont. He worked there and he actually watched it come off the floor in 1965 and he's owned it ever since. And when he went to serve his time in Vietnam, a friend of his offered to store it in his garage in Maryland. So they drove from Fort Hood, Texas, where they were stationed. They drove that GTO all the way to Maryland, where it stayed while George served his time in Vietnam. So it's a very special car, and it's parked over back there. It's that uh, yellow Buick. So, or excuse me, yellow GTO. <laughs> Sorry, George. Sorry, George. That was a Freudian slip. An absolute Freudian slip. But it's with great, it's with great pleasure that uh, I introduce our official chaplain here at Good Guys, Chaplain Dale Daly, and Dale has been with us for all of these, and Dale would like to uh, perform an invocation here with us this morning. Please welcome Good Guys Chaplain Dale Daly from the Christian Rodgers Association. Thank you, John. I just want to say to you men uh, and to the women that are here that have served this country so faithfully, we honor you this day. We're proud of you. These are tough times. These are days when uh, things are a little bit different than when many of us grew up. But we want you men and women to know that we are greatly blessed and honored by all that you have done for this United States of America. I began thinking about those of you who have served in the service throughout the years. Uh, we've had individuals that have been part of World War I. Some of you from World War II now, Korea. Uh, I understand that there's actually somebody from Normandy. We know that there are individuals from Iraq. And all of you have 
serve in such wonderful capacities that we can all enjoy the street riding world and the motorsport world that we love and the freedom that we have in this United States of America. But as we all know, nothing is free. came with a great price, and you men and women have paid such a price for our freedom that we can enjoy all that we are doing this day. And then there's men and women that have served our country so faithfully that have paid the ultimate price, haven't they, with their actual life. Been so willing to give whatever it would cost that we might know what it is to be free. It was at the Constitutional Convention in 1787. It was held in Independence Hall, and there was a lady by the name of Mrs. Powell, and she was actually from Philadelphia. And as she was part of the audience that was there listening to Benjamin Franklin, as he gave his address, she came up to him later on and she asked this question of Benjamin Franklin. She said, what do we have here? Do we have a republic or do we have a monarchy? And history says that without hesitation, Benjamin Franklin looked at her and immediately said, we have a republic if you can keep it. And that's where we're at in this day. We still have a republic if we can keep it. But as I thought about those words, I thought about something that applies to every one of our lives. And that is there's a scriptural principle in the Old Testament. It's a verse that I believe that every one of us ought to know by heart. And it's out of the book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 12, and it says this. It says, Blessed is the nation. Listen to it again. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Now, I submit to you this afternoon that it doesn't take much consideration to think that if a nation is going to be blessed by God, then just the opposite is true as well. That a nation that doesn't honor God is not going to be blessed by Him. And so I suggest to you this morning and this afternoon and this day when we come together to give thought and celebration to these men and women who have so faithfully served this country, that ultimately we need to remember that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. I read something just recently on what is a veteran. I began thinking about you individuals that were going to be here today. I believe this summarizes so well what a veteran is. A veteran is not the preacher who has given us freedom of religion. It is the veteran, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of press. It's the veteran, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It's the veteran, not a campus organizer, who has given us the freedom to assemble. It is the veteran, not a lawyer, who has given us the right to a free trial. It is a veteran, not the politician, who has even given us the right to vote. It is the veteran who not only salutes the flag, but who serves under the flag, fighting for the country that that flag represents.